The Star Wars Battlefront trailer, have you seen it? It's full of classic Star Wars goodness, iconic vehicles and firefights, and I highly recommend you watch it. Just click this link right here. Now, listen to the news, you will. The celebration of all things a galaxy far, far away continues. EA has cut open a ton, ton of details. Oh, that's a nice visual. And we now have loads of Star Wars Battlefront news, starting with the most important of things, its release date. Mark your galactic calendars for November 17th, 2015. UK folk will have to wait till November 20th, just a couple days later. So prepare your PC, PlayStation 4, or Xbox One platforms. But that's not all. It's a first add-on pack will arrive shortly thereafter on December 8th and will be free to anyone who owns the game. Called Battle of Jakku, the DLC bridges the gap between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. Ugh, this is too much for my nerd brain to take. For more on what to expect with Battlefront, including how it won't feature a single player campaign, check out this link right here. Meet Mortal Kombat X's first gay male character. Players will get to explore the past of new playable character Kung Jin in flashback moments, and in one particular moment featuring Raiden urging Kung Jin to join the Shaolin monks, he says, I can't, they won't accept, with a Raiden responding, they care only of what is in your heart, not whom your heart desires. NetherRealm Cinematic Director Dominic Cianciolo confirmed the interpretation, tweeting, I see people are picking up on the subtle exposition contained in Kung Jin's flashback. Glad we have observant fans. Nintendo has been doing pretty well lately. Announcing its latest hardware sales of its Wii U and 3DS systems, Nintendo has recorded a significant sales spike compared to last year. The 3DS seeing a whopping 80% increase in sales thanks to titles The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D and Super Smash Bros. for 3DS. The Wii U also saw an increase thanks to Mario Party 10. Two other notable mentions brought that number even higher for the console. Those titles are Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, which has sold a total 1.6 million and Mario Kart 8 which has sold 1.9 million. Lifetime sales of the Wii U now stand at 9.2 million. Not too shabby. Capcom recently gave us some tantalizing details on Street Fighter 5, but Ultra Street Fighter 4 is also on its way for PS4. PlayStation Blog revealed that for $25, you can get the improved version, including every character, level, and previously released DLC from the PS3 version with no input lag. Sweet. Expected to arrive April 26th. And that's your daily fix for April 17th. I'm Naomi Kyle, and remember you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.